the Kingston Kaipi. Kaipi for Kaiparinha. Do you guys know what a Kaiparinha is? What's that? Brazil? Exactly. It's a Brazilian drink typically made with um, uh, cachaça. It's like the Brazilian daiquiri. So you muddle some limes with some sugar, and you put the uh, cachaça in there, and you shake it up real hard, and then voila, Bob's your uncle. If you like sub other spirits in there, we kind of call it, if it's a, if it's a vodka, caipirinha, then we call it a caiparosca. Uh, with rum, you can call it like a caiparissima. So I just call it caipi. <laughs> But the Kingston part is because I'm using a Jamaican rum. But I'm going to actually demonstrate the cilantro salt that I made to go with this one. So I'm going to start with the kosher salt. And this is going to be loud and annoying. Just going to dump a bunch in there. Um, and now, I, this blender is actually a pretty good one. It's not a commercial blender. But it's a really strong one. I don't remember how much I paid for it, but it was when I was pretty broke, so it's not a lot. Rather than like those Toastmaster ones that are pretty cheap, I kind of do a pinch, but this is going to be totally to your taste. But what's cool, is, so you could use a food processor, but the food processor blades are like in the middle of the, so of, of, you know, the substance that you're mixing. And since the blades are on the bottom here, it actually, I find this to be a much better way to make something like this. All right, it's going to be loud. And that's it. Isn't it pretty? Oh, you can't see it. So see, it turns all green like that. And then it's got the aroma and the, f and the flavor of the cilantro. Um, so now this is, this is a little moist to start. And you can leave it somewhat open so that it'll dry out. But as it dries out, it continues to sustain the same flavor and color even, because salt, as we know, is a preservative. So it'll stay exactly the same. So here's one that I made um, yesterday. And see how pretty it is? And then you're going to get that slight aroma of the cilantro. I take that and I put it on eggs and I put it in my guacamole. So I'm going to go ahead and do it the classic way with the uh, muddled limes and uh, with the sugar. So you do like two bar spoons full. I can eye it because I'm a professional. Where's my damn thing? A couple of bar spoons. Now, when you're doing a muddled ingredient, uh, you want to muddle that ingredient with the sugar, whether it's a syrup or a dry sugar like this, it sort of starts a quick confusion, starts to break down the fruit qualities, and uh, everything starts to bond together really nicely. I'm not a scientist, so I don't really know why, because um, science is hard. But I've had it demonstrated for me, so I believe it. That's all it takes. Um, so I've done the, um, oh, I forgot the cucumbers. Daria, you're distracting me. No, I'm kidding. Um, so I'm going to throw the cucumbers in there. Persian cucumbers. These are the best, especially for, well, first of all, uh, what they call American cucumbers, the ones that are like dark green, they have beeswax on them. Why do they put beeswax on all of our food? It's gross. I don't need wax. Where, where did my thingy go? Oh. Um, I don't need wax on my, on my food. So I don't, I don't usually buy those because I hate that wax. And if you're, it would like s separate from the drink and... The ones in plastic are really good to use because those aren't coated in wax. Or um, these little Persian ones, those are never coated in wax either. But the Persian cucumbers are um, really flavorful. The flavor just like extends on and on. Um, so this here, say, OK, I used the, I told you about the Karuba coconut rum. This is infused, uh, just a real true infusion of coconut into this Jamaican rum. Jamaican rums are really exotic flavors. It's like. The, the microbial terroir really imposes um, just wild characteristics. I always say Jamaican rums are as wild as the hairstyles in Jamaica. I've never been there. I assume the hairstyles are wild. The second rum I'm using, I'm kind of splitting it to get um, a couple of different influences here. This is a Sammy's Beach Bar rum. It's Sammy Hagar's rum. Yeah, you guys probably know that he had a tequila before, which was killer. And he actually sold it. He's still on the board of directors. And now he does this rum, which is made in Hawaii. And it's made with fresh sugar cane. And I just met Sammy Hagar. And he gave me a kiss on the cheek. I infused it with hatch chilies. Do you guys know hatch chilies? Do you anticipate them every season? I know, right? Um, so I just went and bought like all that Whole Foods had. And I infused it into this rum.
And this one's going to be a real pretty color. I'm going to dump it in there so you can see all of the colors and have all the aromas present. And then uh, the little accompaniment for this one. So we've got some spice from the hatch. We have some kind of sweet, uh, earthy tones from the coconut. And um, the cucumber, of course, adding some vegetal uh, components. So now I'm just going to coat the, a cucumber here. And I'm going to just garnish it that way with the cilantro salt. You could sprinkle it right on top. That's what I do a lot of times, too. I actually just season a drink. Right. Did you guys get that cocktail yet? No? Josh? Is it coming? So you just have to watch me. <laughs> it's good. Mm. Is everyone okay with spice? Because it's got a good spicy kick. All right, good. Mm. In the meantime, I can dance or sing. I <laughs> have seen them both. <laughs> How y'all liking that drink? Good, we got it. Good. Did you like one better than the other? Yeah, that's the right answer. <laughs> I take requests off Twitter for, um, that's how my web show works. You tweet me or you can Facebook me or something, and then I'll make your drink on my show. Thanks for coming. Have a great time with the Taste of LA Times. Cheers. Oh, my husband wrote that music, by the way.